Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, the activities of the commissions and the presentation of the National Assembly at the UN. Azerbaijanis will hold job march in occupied Shushi and Berzor. Nerkin Hand is surrounded by Azerbaijani armed locations, Tatoyan. Azerbaijani violations of Armenians' rights and protection mechanisms were discussed in Paris. Baku accuses those who have pro-Armenian position, Frank Schwabe. The Patriarchate of Jerusalem wins the lawsuit to recover its huge state in Turkey, occupied Western Armenia. Low price and rich harvest, potato harvesting in Ahakalaki. The viewers, let's start from the regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia and talk about the activities of the commissions and the presentation of the National Assembly at the UN. On 9 October, the regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. The agenda of the session was presented by the Chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Nelly Harutunyan. In the first part of the agenda, the activities were discussed of the National Assembly, the Republic of Western Armenia, committees and reporting mechanisms. In the second part of the agenda, the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenia Kabrahamyan, gave a speech who will represent the indigenous people of Western Armenia and the indigenous National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia from the UN platform to be held on 17 and 18 October. At the end of the session, a number of current issues were also discussed. Azerbaijanis will hold job march in occupied Shushi and Berzor. They are planned to hold job march in occupied Shushi and Berzor, and at this job march, Azerbaijani will present vacancies and other projects, continuing their vandalism in the occupied Armenian territories. Nerkinhand is a village of the Kapan community of Eastern Armenia, which on three sides is surrounded by more than two dozen Azerbaijani armed positions. Only 2,700 hectares are occupied in the territory of Armenia. Former human rights defender of Republic of Armenia, Arman Tatoyan, wrote about this on his Facebook page. He wrote as follows, we have documented additional facts of Azerbaijani crimes against the residents of Nirkinand, cutting down thousands of trees and tens of kilometers of military roads being built in the Shikaho State Reserve of Armenia, laying many mines on the example of the two Azerbaijani positions, depriving the residents of drinking water armed positions in the immediate vicinity of civilian houses, etc. Azerbaijan is holding the COP29 environment-related event while it is destroying Armenia's environment. These facts should be presented on world platform as much as possible to show Azerbaijan's true intentions. Now about discussions to be held in Paris on Azerbaijan violations of Armenia's rights and protection mechanisms. On 8 October in Paris, Arman Tatoyan, Artak Begladian and Garnik Kirkonyan had meetings with a number of members of the French National Assembly and Senate. During the meetings, the evidence related to Azerbaijani crimes in Artsakh, especially the release of Armenian prisoners and hostages, as well as the issues of rights of return of the indigenous people of Artsakh, were presented in the context of the decision of the International Court of Justice of the United Nations. The facts of Baku's occupation of the border regions of Eastern Armenia and Azerbaijan crimes were also discussed, including genocidal policies, blockades, destruction of Armenian spiritual heritage and environmental damage. At the end of the meeting, the delegation expressed gratitude to the French legislators for their support. Now let's talk about Baku accuses who have pro-Armenian position. Frank Schwabe from Germany, a member of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, speaking about the result of the discussions on the human rights situation in Baku, noted that issues should not be mixed up. According to Schwabe, Baku is trying to divert attention by mixing domestic issues with regional conflicts. Schwabe emphasized that peace should focus on the democracy and human rights issues within Baku, otherwise the Baku government will try to manipulate the discussions in order to divert attention. He added, in case a vote were held, the majority would demand that Azerbaijan be loyal to the organization's values. The Patriarchate of Jerusalem wins the lawsuit to recover its huge state in Turkey, occupied Western Armenia. In 2012, the Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem in Turkey, occupied Western Armenia, submitted a claim 
demanding the return of more than 1,000 of his estate confiscated in 1973. After decades of court proceedings on 4 October 2024, Constantinople Armenian newspaper Agos informed that in Turkey, nowadays occupied Western Armenia, the Mar Yagub Armenian Church Foundation received the status of a legal entity, which is a great victory for the Patriarchate. The claim of Patriarch Nurhan Manukyan of Jerusalem was initially rejected in the Turkish courts, but the country's constitutional court finally confirmed that the rights of the Patriarchate were violated. Turkish lawyer Ali Elbeyoglu noted that now the Patriarchate can appoint a Turkish citizen to manage its estate or they can be managed from Jerusalem. Over the years, confiscated estates have been sold to third parties without compensation. It is not clear what compensation the Patriarchate will receive for the estate that have already been sold. Harut Sasunyan proposes to form an international commission to monitor the management of estate and ensure transparency. Ahalkalaki's potato harvest is underway, but farmers are facing problems of low prices and labor shortages. Despite the rich harvest of this year, the price of potato is 50 tetri, making it difficult to recoup costs. The villagers hope that the products will be exported to Russia as well, which will increase the prices. Villagers are concerned about the lack of government regulation in the agricultural sector, which hinders long-term development despite the high quality of the harvest. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.